how to create a waitlist landing page. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a waiting list landing page. And here it is very easy to do it. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to create an account within MailChimp. MailChimp is a number one marketing or email marketing platform for automation also setting or collecting email addresses and also creating sign up forms. It is very easy to manipulate and use this platform. So bear with me and follow me how to use that. Either you go ahead and sign up if you don't have an account and don't know the platform. It is very easy to get an account on it or you are going to sign in or log in right there into your account if you already know and used the platform before. Now, when you have set everything right there, you are going to visit Canva. And right there, Canva, I'm going to create a template for the waitlist. It is very easy to create a template, so we are going to create an image within a Canva. And then we are going simply to upload that image into our um, uh, MailChimp account or MailChimp landing page. Right there on Canva, we are going to use or type on the search bar landing page or waitlist and see what type of, um, as you can see here, templates are going to see. Either we go ahead with the uh, paid one or the pro plans right here. You can join the pro plan as you can read right there. I'm on the Canva Pro plan. You can use the infinite amount of pages and also all of these designs that are available right there. And then we can go ahead and upload them. Now, let's go ahead and choose anything from here. If you want to create uh, the page from blank, it is up to you. Make sure to get the right dimensions. And here we have it. You can put a square, a rectangle or whatever you want. Now I'm going to choose either a square or something like that. I would like to use that template because it is very, very good and also modern and attracting. Click on customize that template and here we have it. It has the coming soon. New online course, I'm going to put here new modern website is in the way like that uh, shopping maybe shopping website is in the way I'm going to make it like that maybe make it like this so we are going to gain some space something like that it is very uh, great now I'm going to change that modification right there for the join the waitlist, I'm going to set something like right there. I'm going to delete that logo here, images, delete that image, not that grid, delete that image, not that grid, because these are placement for the images. You can add those. These are called frames also before grid. Now we are going to add our own images. So we are going to the upload right there and see uh, what we have. I'm going to upload some files and I think that I have some previews of my website right there. So I'm going to set them together. Now we are going to drop down a little bit. Maybe we have them, maybe we have not. So we're going to add something similar. I'm going to add those two in place of that. Go ahead and add them and wait for the upload to be set. If it is not added already, it is a um, common issue. You are going to set them already. So get this one to this and also to that. And here we have it. Now for the join the waitlist, I'm going to change it to another color because I don't like that color. So. Uh, for that, we are going to set it like this. And for the frame, I am going to set another frame to something maybe a little bit lighter to match the theme. Uh, here we have it. So we are going to make this wait for us and check 
your emails like that I'm going to make it maybe like this here we have it make it some your not tour make select all of that make it bold so it will be convincing right there I'm going to make some effects to that to the specific um, text so we are going to choose that color of it I can't use that color and let me see maybe we are going to make it like that this is even better like that and now we are going to download that image as a PNG get that image download it as a PNG and we are going to wait for it and then we are going back to the MailChimp right here we have everything set and here we have the dashboard all you have to do now is to create the landing page and how we can do that we're going to create it but before that we are going to install or make some integration to MailChimp because MailChimp will be working at its best by getting the integration for the stores now go back and scroll down until you see integration click on discover and here we have the integration right there we have Sub Shopify sorry Zapier, Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix etc so go ahead and use your store also we have Canva you can go ahead and use your store right there and you are going to set it right there now you can go ahead and connect your Shopify store and as you can see right there I have connected I think two stores that I am going to use or I am using already uh, here we have a lot of stores or sales channels we have Shopify, Facebook, Canva and Wix so when Canva is connected that means that we can import or make these um, right there directly to the MailChimp so when you click on here are going to see that messaging it is set to integration you are going to connect MailChimp and boom now let's go to create we have here a lot of choices email automations website landing pages and creative assistant that is a feature that I now have never used in my life so we are going to click on landing pages we are going to give it a name maybe let's say waitlist why not waitlist like this and for the audience you have to create your own audience this is uh, something logic I think click on begin I will let you see how you can create your audience on, on uh, MailChimp then once you click on begin you are going to select a template here whatever you select from these templates it will be gone so we are going to delete that and replace it with our own so make sure that you are going to select the most simplest one or the most simple one for example this one and then we are going to proceed to the work here we have it now we are going to delete some elements or all the elements of it right there then we are going to add a image block here we have a uh, as you can see right there something I have already uh, started deleting everything so we don't need, need these I don't need anything from here I'm only going to need my uh, right there my template I'm going to de-zoom a little bit from this one here don't need that also and this one also right there now this is the footer maybe we can let it slide and this one why do we need a buy, a buy now button on this page I don't I don't understand but I'm going to delete it anyway so right there we have it now we have a image block I think right there we have an image block or a divider it doesn't matter so we are going to drag and drop a image block right there this is for the body so we are going to browse or well, browse right there the images click on upload it is a little bit slow on this navigator right there uh, here we are going to see the images that I have downloaded from Canva 
So here we have it. It will be uploading soon. We are going to wait for a few seconds. And here we have it. This is the template. Now we are going to add something, save and close. Now we have only one thing. The only thing that we need to add right there, everything is perfect. Don't get me wrong. We are going to add the sign up form. And why? Because we need to collect some email information. Go ahead and add the sign up form into this page right there. And we are going to modify something on it. When you click on the pen tool right there, it will show up here the available fields. You can add a first name, a last name, a phone number, birthday right there. I'm going to set uh, the first name right there as required. And here we have a lot of uh, options. We have the button or the button text right there. I'm going to not let it subscribe or join the wait list here. This is the uh, call to action, as you can see it. Send to after form is submitted, send visitors to confirmation message web address or confirmation message. It is set to confirmation message here. This is the confirmation success. You have been added to the uh, wait list like that list. I'm going to modify this to something like that wait list. You will be notified like that once we are live. Make this, uh, for example, maybe bold or make it like that live. And then we are going to click on save and close. And we have the landing page. We're going to click on save and close also right there and wait for the creation of the landing page. Now we have some more time to wait for. Now we have the waitlist set. We are going to click on publish and we can get the URL of that page. And then all you have to do is to share that URL. And here we have it. You can launch it on another page or see it on the other page right there. And we have it here. Nice, nice, very, very, very nice and professional. Now we are going to copy that link and share it on Facebook, Twitter, or copy that link on any of the pages or campaigns that you have set. Now, how to create an audience? All you have to do is to get an audience right here on any page. Click on all contacts. Right there, you can add a contact. Then you are going to set a contact. Then for that contact, you can go ahead and either import them or add them manually. When you add manually the contact or automatically or in bulk, you're going to create an audience name and name it. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next one.